Hey guys, welcome to another SMPitnik server tutorial and today it's on how to create a custom mod pack server using CurseForge. So the first thing we need to do is download CurseForge. How do we get that? Well, we need the Overwolf app. So head over to overwolf.com and in the top right hand corner we can click download Overwolf. This is going to download the installer so we can go ahead and install this and then we'll see what it looks like. So once you've downloaded and installed Overwolf, you're going to want to come to the top to the search bar up here and type in CurseForge and here it is so it's the first one here all we need to do is click on it and click install and then it should install pretty quickly and then we can go ahead and hit launch so here we go we're opening CurseForge now and the first thing we need to do is just click skip intro we don't need to worry about that and head over to Minecraft so go ahead and click that and then you can choose a folder where you want the files to be stored so I'm just going to click continue and then give it a second and we will come to this page so currently we don't have any mod pack profiles so we can go ahead to the top right and create a custom profile now what we can do here we can select a name for it choose a Minecraft and mod loader version so let's go ahead and name it so I'm going to call this one server miner and once you're happy with everything here you can click create and give it a few seconds and it's just going to download a few things and sort it out. If you do get an error here, make sure your Java version is up to date. That is why it didn't work for me the first time that I tried this. So now that it's applying the final patch, it should be ready to go any second. And here we are. So we need to click on it and this is going to take us to another page. So we need to go down to add more content down here, click this, and then it will give a massive list of loads of different mods. So let's just grab a couple at random. Let's do just enough items and let's do iron chest as well. So these are pretty small mods. They downloaded immediately. And once you're happy with all the mods you want, you can click X up at the top. And once we are here, you want to click these three dots, this icon next to play and we want to export the profile. So we've got our profile name here, package version, you can just set that as one. And then if we click the arrow by mods, you can see it will list all the different mods, so J, E, I, and Iron Chest. So then we can go ahead and hit the export button, it's gonna bring up a window and we can choose the folder where we want to export it to. I'm just gonna set it in my downloads folder and then we can go ahead to the next step. So the next thing we want to do is head over to our SMPitnik control panel. Here is my server, it's currently running Spigot 1.16.4. Go ahead and click change. And then once we are here, we want to scroll down to the category section and the build your own mod pack here. Go ahead and click this. And what we want to do is upload the exported zip file that we just created. So go ahead and click this. And what we want to do is find where we exported it. So it should be an export and here we are so we've got test I made that one earlier but server miner that is the one that we just created so click open so the final thing we want to do is actually install the mod pack you can see it's been uploaded here and all we need to do is on the right click install and then you can obviously create a new world um, so I'm just going to click install so there we are it says congratulations custom mod pack server miner one has been installed you can see we are currently running that custom mod pack it really is as simple as that. It takes under 10 minutes to do. Just choose your favorite mods, export and upload it, and job done. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. All the links will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.